a bike is a perfect metaphor for a business and how so if we can just if we can just think of the bike it's pretty easy to then apply the principles to our business I got to make that decision from top down and then I've got to execute from the bottom up right I got to know exactly what I'm going to give because that's what I've got to deliver every time You've got the same thing, right? Whatever it is you're going to deliver, you've got to know precisely what that is and then everything you do has to do that. So this tells my dad's story and it puts basically I talk about everything that he did in the in the components of the bike, but I am telling you, be creative and don't do something that's good for you, do something that's good for them. I know that throughout the entire day, you're going to be thinking about what you have to get done today and this week. And I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to really press on you to say don't do it. Stay here and focus today. And what I want to do real quick is I want to make sure that your competition knows what you're doing right now. Fair enough? Are you So if you're not supposed to be here today, you might want to hop out of the room real quick. So at the end, what my hope is that at the end you've got your this year's goals. That's this next year's goals. I want you from the from today to be able to pick out those things that are important to you in your business today and build yourself a set of plans so you can know exactly what you're going to do next year. Does that make sense? Here's the other part that's critical today. Today is not a day to solve things. Right? I'm not going to I'm not going to dive in and we're not going to solve the problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to present you with the thing that I think you need to have really a solid grasp of. Because if you have a solid grasp of it, then you can put it in place in your business. We need to first talk about the most important person in your business. Who is that? It's you. It's you. Some people say the most important person in my business is my customer. Some people say the most important person in my business is my employees or my team members. It's not. The most important business person in your business is you. Where's the bottleneck on this bottle? at the top. It always is. Right? They never put the bottleneck at the bottom. So who's the bottleneck in your business? Yeah, it's pretty much a, we're I'm looking at all the bottlenecks, right? We're all in here because we are all bottlenecks. The things that we our limitation, whatever we have bring to the to our business as our own personal limitations will limit anything that happens in our business. Right, our business can't grow bigger than us. It can't it can't be larger than the way we think. It can't be better than than how good we are. Here's the deal. This is what we do all day long. So if you give me your dollar because I'm going to you're going to work with me, right? And I give you back $1 in value. How good is that? How'd you do? Same, broke even. Was it worth your time? Probably wasn't. If I gave you 90 cents, what would you do? You'd probably walk away. Who would you tell that I gave you 90 cents after taking a dollar? You'd tell everybody, right? And you'd say, "Don't deal with him because you give him a dollar and he'll give you 90 cents back," right? Don't do it. But if you gave me a dollar and I said, "Great. There's $2 of value." Now what are you going to do? And what are you going to do now? And what else are you going to do? You're going to put it in your pocket. What are you going to do? Wouldn't you give me those two dollars again? Because if you gave me those two dollars, what am I going to give you? I'm going to give you four, right? Look, that's what we do all day long. Right now, I'm not giving you four. I'm taking them back. No, I'm actually, actually, I'm going to give you the two because I think that's worth it, right? Here's the deal. We just spend our time talking about how to win new customers, right? It's a critical element for our business. We got to be good at that. We have to be powerful at at bringing in new customers because we because if you're not growing you're what? You're dying, right? There's no staying steady. If I said, "Chad, what's your delivery standard?" Would you have one that everybody would go, "Wow. Really?" Right? Mike, if I if you had one, what would that be? 
So this may be one, you may get it and you may say, check on that one, I've got this one down, right? Others of you may be saying, wow, hmm, what could I do? We all lived up to some standard this last year, right? Up until yesterday, before you came here. So the question that I have for you is, what's your methodology? What's the methodology you use in your business to continually look at everything that goes on in your business or the critical things that happen in your business and make them better? Doing your business this next year the same way you did it last year? It's not another year's experience. It's one more year of last year's experience, right? And what I want you to do without looking at anybody else's paper, I want you to write down the 10 words that instantly come to mind to you, okay? The 10 words that instantly come to mind to you, so don't think about it, don't spend a long time. It just ought to be 10 words, just figure it out. This isn't a complicated word, do this, right? You ready? Run. 10 words, write them down, don't say them, write them down. Getting this right, you can have, the, the machine could work, but if, you're, if you don't have the seat position well, it's not gonna be a fun ride for anybody. And so if you can get the seat position right, people will bust their hump for you, I promise. All I'd say is, the question, here's the question for you as a business owner. Is your business more valuable at the end of this year than it was at the end of last year. And the question is, how do you know that?